So you've been probably wondering how are people such high levels in Skull and Bones already? Like myself, I'm currently sitting at rank Kingpin 21. That's not actually that high. There's people in this game that are a lot higher than me. In this lobby, I am the highest. Not by much, but I am the highest indeed. And today, I'm going to show you the actual fastest way to level up in this game. Firstly, you do need to hit Kingpin for this to work. And once you've done it, you want to go ahead and you want to head into Yanita's office, which is just through here and behind there in that ship, in that cabin at the back there. Or on my screen on Xbox, you hold right bumper. I don't know what the prompt is on other versions of the game, PlayStation and PC. But here, Yanita, you'll go, once you've done a quest, you'll come into the Smuggler's Hideout. Once you've entered the Smuggler's Hideout, you want to go over to the Order Registry. Now, when you're here, you want to interact many of you have probably already done this many a times and you see that there are quests so in this case there's white skull rum there's blue lotus opium there was a beautiful quest where you only had to use one thing and you got like 200 pieces of eight i didn't use that enough unfortunately but some people made thousands i mean thousands of coins from that they seem to have patched it pretty quick Okay, so let me explain. Each one of these are daily. Now, you do get them multiple times a day or several times a day. But if you select one and accept the order, you're not allowed to fast travel during a delivery. Fine. Now, when you accept one, you want to go ahead and put in your ship just enough for that order. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my cargo. Sorry, I'm going to hold B uh, for me and I'm going to go to manage cargo like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my cargo and I am going to get myself 62 Blue Lotus Opiums. If I go up to 62, I'll be there now. I'm just going to do 70 just so we're covered. Okay. Now I've done the 62, I go over to my journal. I'll just make sure I accept it just to see that it has flagged. And I will make sure that it is in the right area as well, which is, yes, it's there. Brilliant. And I'm going to go back to the order registry, and I'm going to get two of these. Now, you can do more, but the more quests of these that you accept, the harder it's going to be for you to be able to uh, do this and level up quicker. Now, if you are great at this game, then by all means, go and collect all four and fill your boots. But I'm going to do, do you know what? I'll do three. I'm probably going to die here. Bit of be fun. Okay, so why am I grabbing these? Now, let's go ahead and leave. So if I hold B, I'm going to leave. I'm going to set sail. I can't fast travel because I've got these quests. But I only need enough items for one, just so it is activated when I'm at sea. Now, the ship I am using is I'm using the, the Vanguard, which is the snow. You could use the Brigantine, but the Brigantine is mainly to outrun, not to outgun um, so I'm gonna be using the snow obviously the sand books apparently the best DPS but it hasn't got much armor and uh, my current ship has got the weapons it's got the twin winch and it has got loads of basilisk freeze on there as well as a uh, skirlock chasers on the back and a leopold on the top on the auxiliary I've got armor I've got the uh, royal custodian and then for furniture, I make sure I always equip the iron cap stag because you get extra 15% uh, damage reduced. Then you have, I've got, sorry, the increased front weapon damage, uh, increased port weapon damage. So it's both both sides, basically, starboard and port. Um, now that obviously only works if you are anchored. So you could go ahead and probably put on this, the single gong which increase your crew uh, your, your damage by 15% after a crew attack, which is also really good. And consecutive hits decrease reload time, which is also great. Um, duration of flood and the blaze effects. You know, there's so many things you can go put on, but the ones I'm using is that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put this back on. And you can anchor down and just fight some ships. Now, if I head, go ahead and set sail, this is where the leveling actually comes into play. You're also going to get a load of silver doing this. You're not going to get massive amounts, but you are going to get quite a lot of silver. Now, the experience, you're going to get so much, and this is how people are leveling up so high. So, how it works is every single one of these green quests that you have active, it's going to spawn in two pirate ships. 
If we look at my experience right now, I'm Kingpin 21. If I go and destroy a normal ship in the seas, just so you can see, which will be this one out here. I'm going to just charge up my winch. I can't do it until I get out of the dock. But just so you can see, I'm going to charge up my winch and just destroy one of these. Okay, I've managed to hit a tank. So, making my weapon look really weak. It's actually really strong, this winch. It normally one hits. But I didn't realise it's a tank. The only way you know it's a tank is if you actually look at the, the health. It's okay, so you see these give me 50 XP every time I kill one of these. Don't tell me they've uh, patched this pirate thing. No, they haven't. I need this dark death mark to disappear. Let me go ahead. Oh, wow, look, someone's in a dowie. It's a... Uh, I haven't seen one of them in a while. Wow, there's a lot of silver floating around out here. Right, so I'm going to head towards my location, which I know is at the south here, this point right here. That is where all my quests are. I'm just going to go accept it. Yeah, there we go. It's highlighted now. That is where my quests are. And there should be pirate ships spawning on me. But they don't seem to be spawning. Now, I did see a load of complaints of people making them ships spawn. There we go. Near the main area. And it was making it very, very difficult. But I'm going to go ahead. And now, I'm going to go and destroy these ships right here. They're not strong to kill. They're not hard to, let's say. Go. We've done one and you see I get 160 for one of them. Whereas the normal ships only get 50. So essentially what you're doing is you're just going to go around completely destroying these. And just rinsing and repeating. And when you want to stop, you'll just go and hand in your quest and get the uh, pieces of eight that you were meant to do this for. But because you're doing it like this, you can just keep rinsing and repeating and... They also drop loads of stuff so they could drop um, contraband items. So let's just go down and... Oh yeah, okay, it's dropped some sugar canes. So you can farm also contraband items just by doing this as well. Put a mark on there, I don't want the mark on there. And then you also get crates of silver, so you're going to get like 500 silver a go. Let me go ahead and get away from this dock, because normally the more quests you got, the more pirate ships up here. It might it might be uh, not happening because a lot of people, like I said, work and playing online. There we go, we've got another two that's just appeared over there. And they're just going to keep following. You do want to be careful from that ship right there that's just through there. They hit so flipping hard. So let me go ahead and repair. And now let's go over here. I'm going to head down to the location. Okay, we've got another two ships. That is a proper nasty ship, right? Let's go ahead and destroy these. So maybe that, yeah, see another two just appeared in the distance. I probably should have only done two at a time. I've got to make this real hard for myself. But it is what it is. Okay, there's one. I've got to see some juniper berries there. Gonna brace because I'm this ship. That would have done a lot of damage if I didn't brace. There we got some more silver chests. Now I can go and ram these as well to get even more damage done to them. You can board them to completely get the kill. I completely f messed up that crew boarding. Remember, if I'm struggling, I can just anchor down and get that extra 15% armor. Collect that. More sugar cane there from that one. This is the one that you really need to be careful about. This does absolutely destroy you if they hit you. 
So make sure you anchor or you brace up when they hit you, these these lot. But this way alone, if you just want to level up and you want to do it, then go ahead and just crack on, do this. You can see we're a third through now. It's just absolutely flying up the experience. And you can just literally simply rinse and repeat. And if you do have friends with you as well and they activate the quest, you can do so many of these. Like, it's an absolute joke. And then you're gaining their experience. It's just you're doubling up everything. See, they're not even hard to destroy. They're pretty simple, especially once you get your the knack of it. Or you, depends on what ships you get, though. Some ships are hard, some ships are easy. And you just got to make sure you have plenty of repair kits. Where if you've been playing long enough and you're this level, you probably got quite a lot of repair kits as it is anyway. So I'm going to go in and dock. Just because, it, like I said, it's gone past midnight now. And uh, I better be getting off. I just thought I'd share this before I go to bed. So you guys know what to do. And how we and everyone are levelling up really fast. If you know any better ways to level up, obviously please share it. And I'll pin it in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, this is the fastest way I know. And I know many of people are doing as well to this point. So, let me go collect them pieces of eight. Like, follow, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.